both of you. More importantly, what you did, how you did it, and why you did it. <laughs> well, that's easy. For the fun of it, I stepped into the unknown. For the fun of it, making choices of my own. A woman shouldn't fly, they said. It's dangerous in the skies. Well, flying may not be plain sailing, but the fun of it is worth the price. Amelia Earhart's love affair for flying didn't begin until she was about 21 when her father brought her to an air show. At the time, airplanes were very uncommon, and people would travel long hours to see the new machines in action. Flying was still very new and extremely dangerous. Parachutes weren't even invented yet, and pilots often crashed and died as a result of human and mechanical errors all the time. Uh, uh, excuse me. I'm looking for Miss Nita Snook. I'm she? I'm Amelia Earhart. I see you are busy, but could I have just a few words with you? Of course. How can I help you? I would like you to teach me how to fly. It says here that you've already had a lesson with Mr. Daughtry. I, I wish to be taught by a woman, if possible. I see. Um, on the subject of payment... Uh, I don't have the funds to pay for my lessons. But if you are agreeable, I should like to put the lessons on credit and pay for them when I'm able. Miss Amelia Earhart, I think you found yourself a teacher. Your representative didn't provide much information as to the nature of our meeting here today, so I was How just How would wondering... you like to be the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean? I should like that very much. Well, now, you won't actually be piloting the aircraft, but you'll be accompanied by two men, a pilot and a navigator. They will be paid for the flight, but you will not. You will receive no payment for this trip, but at the end of it, you'll have been the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. Are those terms agreeable? Yes, sir. Excellent. Thank you, Amelia. We'll, uh, we'll be in touch as soon as we get details of the flight arranged. Thank you, sir. Amelia, this is a dangerous mission. It's usually a man's game. Why do you want to fly the Atlantic? Why does a man ride a horse? Because he wants to, I guess. Well then. In those days, planes were unreliable. In those days, the risk was undeniable. Men and women, friends of mine, didn't cross that finish line. I forget it all when I fly. I don't understand. Men have flown the globe <laughs> before. There is nothing scientific to be gained by you flying it. Okay, call it arrogance then. I would like to be the first woman to fly around the globe. But you would risk your life for arrogance. No, of course not, George. You're right. Men have done it. And I should like to prove that a woman is just as capable. But at what cost? At what cost? I mean, your last leg of the flight over the Pacific Ocean, you're attempting to land on Howland Island. Yes. 
How an island is a tiny speck in the middle of the ocean. To even see it from the sky is nearly impossible. And there is nothing else for 2,000 yes, miles. Yes, yes. But I'll have a navigator with me, Fred Noonan. But he's the best there is. You're worried. <laughs> I learned a long time ago, worrying about you is a waste of time. <laughs> You're right about that, George. When you married me, you knew what you were getting into. <laughs> you know, I, I don't do this for myself anymore, George. I do this to do my little part to show that a woman can do every single thing that a man can do. And if I fail, then maybe I'll encourage some other little girl to give it a shot. <laughs> In those days, little girls would watch me land. In those days, she stood in line to shake my hand. I knew what I was fighting for. I found a flight worth dying for. I to ever fly non-stop across the Atlantic Ocean. First, as a passenger. Then later, she was the first woman to actually pilot a plane across the Atlantic by herself. She instantly became a hero, proving that being female was not a hindrance to one's ability to fly a plane or travel long distances by air. In a time when flying was still quite dangerous, she exhibited what I'm describing as the sixth characteristic for greatness, bravery. In a time when women were not welcome to hold jobs in most places in the United States, Amelia lent her celebrity status to the evolution of what it means to be female in this country. An evolution that continues today.